Hi, welcome back to the Angry Cast. This is the Cult of the Creeper, the last of the Build It series for Modern Empire. Now, as you can see, this was done sort of in the jungle uh, as a portal temple, and they asked me to build them a temple for the portal, and so I, all I did was clear out an area and go run with the South American theme. As you can see, the walkway is lined with stone bricks and brick uh, stone brick half slabs. And this went all the way around the outside of the temple, and uh, I, we ended up going through the entire uh, town with some of these uh, similar bricks and half slabs. You can see I built most of it out of cobblestone and concluded vines, as I like to always do, uh, as well as mossy cobblestone. And you can see the side of the temple. It looks like there's a little bit of decay. Some is, stuff is crumbling. There's mossy cobblestone, uh, or mossy bricks. There's cracked bricks. And the actual temple is 21 by 22 uh, blocks because the temple or the uh, portal is a even number I had to extend the side in order to accommodate it sitting in the center of the design and you can see here I got these uh, basins with lava on them they wanted to incorporate lava so this is just uh, two holes on the sides it's not actually flowing through it's flowing down into the basin and then I added a source block on either side of the wall and it's only one block deep, so even if you were to fall in, you could get out easily. And there you can see our top of our temple up there. With the portal. As I was building this, it started to like resemble a creeper. So I ran with that and included a creeper face. Now here's the picture I had from the original temple on, that I found on Google. And you can see where I went with it as far as the sides of the steps. One of the uh, mods decided to put a beacon on top. <laughs> now, the sides, this uh, roof, I sort of took from another picture I found on Google because I didn't know exactly how I was going to incorporate a roof on top of this temple. And I thought it would be nice to sort of get something out of nature. Here's our portal to the nether, and you can see a cow has decided to just go into the nether. <laughs> More lava to show you on the other side, all four sides. see here where the jungle was sort of taken back the temple with the mossy bricks and the, uh, the, the, the decay the uh, the moisture has got in the jungle is creeping back into and, and overtaking this temple it wants it back uh, there's something evil going on here we, the jungle has decided that nature is a better force for good than evil a lot of decisions to use uh, the uh, cracked stone bricks and the mossy stone bricks because I had builder status. I could have full use of all the bricks I could find or all the blocks I could find in the uh, in the inventory. And then there's a secret entrance that goes underneath the the temple. This big temple had nothing underneath it, so I decided to just dig it out and uh, incorporate some kind of um, adventure into this, something like Indiana Jones or, or uh, Lara Croft. If you're lucky enough to find the secret entrance there, you'll be able to go down underneath the temple and find a cavern and a catacombs. And I can see here I used some uh, more mossy cobblestone to line the uh, area and, and spider webs to give it the full effect of being a uh, underground temple. S cobblestone lining the entire way like it was dug out by the natives. They didn't have access to uh, shape the stone, so they just basically laid down cobblestone wherever they could, could find. And I thought the, the Sfax Pure BD Craft was a, a good uh, texture pack to use in this case. I'm going to come around here, you can see these carved out areas where I thought it would be kind of neat to put in um, more, more cobwebs, but more importantly put in these the <laughs> skeleton heads, like they were the, uh, the bodies of, of temple goers or... Uh, cult members. 
You can see some of these haven't uh, decayed, so these are the later ones. These are the fresher uh, victims, I should say, of, of sacrifice, perhaps. There. I poked holes and, and, and ran vines in to sort of give it the effect of that the jungle is starting to get down into the uh, into the base, and then there's a hole and down into the uh, where the lava is. And that's just an unfortunate area if somebody were to happen to walk by. And one of the mods and admins or admins came through and put down glowstone so it would be easier to see. Now, I had my brightness all the way up, so I couldn't tell the difference uh, walking through here. I didn't think to take it down. Oh, and what's this? Creepers. Creeper heads. And this is the stairs up to our, our temple. You can see here, I got creative with the uh, interlaying of the stone bricks. These are actually the uh, alternate bricks that you get out of uh, temples or strongholds. Now, I, I took some nether, uh, nether brick stairs and made creeper faces into the ceiling as well as uh, added in more texture for the mossy cobblestone in order to disguise the fact that there was lava dripping uh, through these uh, areas previously. And those are the undersides of the steps up to the top of the temple. More, uh, and there's an altar that I put in with glowstone around it and redstone to serve as blood. And those are just upside down stone brick stairs and it kind of made a really neat effect. It looked like, like there's an altar with blood on it. <laughs> And more of the interlaying of the brick stone. This is the alternate uh, brick stones. If you had the regular texture pack, those particular bricks would be the the ones that come out of temples that have sort of like a, a circular pattern on it, like a, a bullseye sort of. And basically, that's uh, that's what we got. Now I had a lot of fun building these. Uh, these structures for the Modern Empire server. It was really nice to be part of a community and, and have them come to me and say, we want you to build this. Oh, this is so great. Can you do this? Can you do that? And it was it was rewarding. It was rewarding to know that they trusted me to be uh, a builder or to be an, a mod on their server and not destroy everything. I mean, I was probably the oldest member of the the community. It was, you know, I'm 38. And these were a bunch of kids. Uh, and they put a lot of trust in me. And I, and I enjoyed my time there. And it's unfortunate that servers can come and go. And, and you can get a, a, a great sense of, of friendship out of these people. And then it all goes away. And unfortunately, I have not been able to get back to the group that now runs a new server from this uh, particular set of people. Uh, I've just been way too busy with other things. I've been t carrying on the, uh, the the playthroughs. Hopefully we're going to get back to building with the regular series where I'm uh, Mongo Smashes Minecraft, but we haven't got there yet. We're still way early into the series, and we haven't gotten to the point where we can actually build things yet. Uh, great structures, but that's coming, so we'll get there, folks. I will say that I, I really did enjoy working on these designs. The, the shrine, and the, the windmill, and the Eye of Sauron, those were all well worth it taking the time to actually do them. In fact, they were well worth it doing it even if I wasn't even in creative mode, to have to go out and get all the materials. And that's sometimes that's even more fun, to be able to go out and, and dig out in the mines and, and gather up the blocks and, and smelt the ores and smelt the bricks dig up everything else and actually work the game the way it's meant to be. I mean, and after all, it is called Minecraft. To be able to get in there and really be creative and explore and, and test the limits of your imagination and learn new techniques, those are the kind of things that make building in these games fun. So I want to thank you very much for hanging out and next time we'll see if we can get something started on the new se uh, series. So until then, Please, if you like this and you want to see more, click thumbs up, give me some comments, subscribe to the series, and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot, and have a good day.